Listen carefully. Valentine's Day gift ideas. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. People celebrate Valentine's Day with cards and chocolate. They give their sweethearts flowers too. Roses are a very popular gift. But the most precious gift of all is the thing you make yourself. A homemade gift is more special than a gift from the store. Some people make Valentine cookies or cupcakes. Yum! Isn't that a delicious idea? You can make cookies in the shape of a heart. You can put heart candies on the cupcakes. Or you can even write your sweetheart's name on them too. Then put the cookies in a box and wrap a big red ribbon around it. Your Valentine will love it. Cards are also very popular on Valentine's Day. Paper, scissors, and glue are all you need. Cut hearts out of red paper and glue them onto a card. Why not add some glitter as well? You can even glue a picture of yourself onto the card. Listen carefully. Heads or tails? Heads you win, tails you lose. Have you ever played this game? People use coin tosses to make decisions. You've probably tossed a coin to decide who pays for a snack. Or maybe you did it to decide who does the dishes. Each side has an equal chance of winning, right? Well, this is not always true. You have to flip the coin just the right way to be fair. But most of the time, the coin doesn't spin perfectly. It might tip and wobble in the air. Sometimes it doesn't even flip over. A tossed coin is usually in the air for just half a second. A wobble can trick your eyes. How does wobbling affect the outcome? Some researchers videotaped coin tosses. They measured the angle of the coin in the air. They found a coin has a 51% chance of landing on the side it started from. So, if heads is up to start with, there's a bigger chance that a coin will land on heads. The odds aren't very different from 50 to 50, but it's still a difference. Listen carefully. What happened on Halloween? It was Halloween. My friend Steve asked, Hey, do you guys want to go trick or treating with me? We decided to meet that night. I went home and quickly dressed in my costume, the devil. I grabbed my treat bag to go. Just then, my friend Mickey called me. He asked if I wanted to go trick or treating with him. Sorry, I'm going with my other friends, I casually answered. Mickey whispered, Okay, and I forgot about it. We had such a wonderful time. We raced from door to door. We screamed in unison, Trick or treat! After an hour, our bags were heavy with candies. Finally, we were at the last street, Mickey's. We rang the bell and yelled, Trick or treat! The door opened and my heart froze. It was Mickey. He was handing out candies. Why aren't you trick or treating? I asked. Tears trickled down Mickey's cheeks. He said he had no one to go with. Suddenly, I felt really guilty. Go get your treat bag, I yelled. Mickey ran to go get it. We raced around the dark streets together, collecting candies to fill Mickey's bag. Listen carefully. Magic vinegar. A clean computer works better than a dirty one. Before you start cleaning, make sure that all your equipment is shut off. Now, mix equal parts of white vinegar and water in a bucket. Put a clean cloth in the mix. And squeeze the cloth out as hard as possible to get all the water out. Never use a spray to avoid getting liquid inside your computer. 
It is time to start wiping down everything. All the small places need cleaning too. Even your mouse. You can use cotton swabs to get into the small spaces. Do you have a mouse with a removable ball? Does it need cleaning? First, remove the ball from underneath the mouse by twisting off the cover. Then, remove the dirt from the mouse and wipe the ball clean with the cloth. Make sure you get all the mix out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Use a moistened cotton swab to clean out the gunk from inside the ball chamber. Let the ball dry for a couple of hours. Then, put it back. Ta da! A clean computer! Listen carefully. Body language. We communicate through words every day. But actually, we say a lot more through actions of the body. This type of communication is called body language. Body language is communicating without words. We can say many different things using body language. The way a hand is placed or how one sits can say a lot about a person. Arms folded across a chest can show weakness. A raised eyebrow means doubt. If a person rubs his or her nose while talking, he or she is probably lying. Some forms of body language are universal. Body language, however, Varies from country to country. In the United States, the connection of the thumb and the index finger is a positive sign. But in Brazil, it means something very private. Each country has different rules about body language. So we should be careful in using body language. Listen carefully. Ant bully. In the movie Ant Bully, Lucas, a 10 year old boy, is always being bullied. A big kid on his street is always bothering him. Lucas gets angry and steps on the ant pile in his yard. Now he is known as destroyer to the ants. But he learns the truth about the ants through Zok. Zok is the ant wizard. He makes a potion to shrink Lucas to the size of an ant. Zok hates all humans, but he and Lucas slowly start to understand each other. They see that they have similarities. Hova is Zok's girlfriend. She helps Lucas to be an ant. Lucas also becomes friends with Fugax, the funny ant. Soon, they become a part of a special plan which will affect all the ants living in Lucas's yard. Lucas and his new friends. Learn to accept each other and to understand their enemies. Ant Bully has a great message for everyone. It's truly an amazing movie.